What I want to do in this video is get some practice simplifying expressions that have some hairier numbers involved. And these numbers are, are kind of hairy. And like always, try to pause this video and see if you can simplify this expression before I take a stab at it. All right, I'm assuming you have attempted it. Now let's look at it. We have negative 5.55 minus 8.55c plus 4.35c. So the first thing I want to do is, can I combine these c terms? And I definitely can. This is if you, we can add negative 8.55c to 4.35c first. And then that would be, let's see, that would be negative 8.55 plus 4.35. I'm just adding the coefficients times c. And of course, we still have that negative 5.55 out front. Negative 5.55. And I'll just put a plus there. Now, how do we calculate negative 8.55 plus 4.35? Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it or visualize it. One way is to say, well, this is the same thing as the negative of 8.55 minus 4.35. And 8.55 minus 4.35, let's see, 8 minus 4 is going to be the negative. 8 minus 4 is 4. 55 hundredths minus 35 hundredths is 20 hundredths. So I could write 4.20, which is really just the same thing as 4.2. So all of this, all of this can be replaced with a negative 4.2. So my entire expression has simplified to negative 5.55. Instead of saying plus negative 4.2c, I can just write it as minus 4.2. 4.2c, and we're done. We can't simplify this anymore. We can't add this term that doesn't involve the variable to this term that does involve the variable. So this is about as simple as we're going to get. So let's do another example. So here I have these, I have some, some more hairy numbers involved. These are all expressed as fractions. And so let's see, I have 2 fifths m minus 4 fifths minus 3 fifths m. So how can I simplify? Well, I could, I could add all the m terms together. So let me just change the order. I could rewrite this as 2 fifths m minus 3 fifths m minus 4 fifths. All I did is I changed the order. And we can see that I have these two m terms. I can add those two together. So this is going to be 2 fifths minus 3 fifths times m. And then I'm, I have the minus 4 fifths still on the right hand side. Now what's 2 fifths minus 3 fifths? Well, that's going to be negative 1 fifth. It's going to be negative 1 fifth. So I have negative 1 fifth m minus 4 fifths. Minus 4 fifths. And once again, I'm done. I can't simplify it anymore. I can't add this term that involves m somehow to this, to this negative 4 fifths. So we are done here. Let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one more example. So here, and this is interesting, I have, a, I have a parentheses and all the rest. And like always, pause the video, see if you can simplify this. All right, let's work through it together. Now the first thing that I want to do is, let's distribute this 2 so that we just have three terms that are just being added and subtracted. So if we distribute this 2, we're going to get 2 times 1 fifth m is 2 fifths m. Let me make sure you see that m, m is right here. 2 times negative 2 fifths is negative 4 fifths. And then I have plus 3 fifths. Now how can we simplify this more? Well, I have these two terms here that don't involve the variable. Those are just numbers. I can add them to each other. So I have negative 4 fifths plus 3 fifths. So what's negative 4 plus 3? That's going to be negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1 fifth. What we have in yellow here, and I still have I still have the 2 over 5 m. 2 fifths m minus 1 fifth. And we're done. We've simplified that as much as we can. 